Are we being duped? I didn't want to admit this to myself, but there is some evidence suggesting we are being lied to about a silver squeeze. Unless you've been living under a rock for the better part of a year, you've noticed really high premiums on physical gold and silver. Even generic silver has a $4 to $8 premium attached to it. What is causing this price crunch? Why are premiums so high? Is there a shortage of physical gold and silver, or are we being lied to? What is going on May 1st? There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I will wade through the confusion and try to clear up some misconceptions about what is really happening with the gold and silver price coming up. What's up everyone, welcome back to Campbell's Coins. In mid-January, we started hearing about a silver squeeze. Wall Street bets attempted to beat the banks shorting silver by purchasing large quantities of physical silver. I have an entire video covering this topic here. Premiums shot up and physical silver seemed like it was hard to get a hold of. There were a week long delays with the online bullion dealers. Many, including myself, viewed this as the start of a huge supply crunch. Premiums rose quickly, and they haven't really dropped much. This, in conjunction with some odd news from various mints in the marketplace, started making me lean towards a silver shortage occurring and only getting worse. I think we might have been duped though, and I will outline why I think this is the case. I think when all of this went down in January, the banks were really caught with their pants down. They weren't really ready for the demand in the precious metals market. Before we get to that, let's talk about prices at your LCS. I hear a lot of people complaining that their LCS is price gouging them on gold and silver. For those who don't know, let me explain how the precious metal market works. When you go to your LCS to purchase gold or silver, your LCS is checking prices at Atmex and other wholesale dealers. Atmex has a price for a specific product they will buy from your LCS. For example, if your LCS has American Silver Eagles and Atmex is paying dealers spot plus $10 for American Silver Eagles, this is the price your dealer can get for them from Atmex. They are not going to undercut themselves and sell to the public for spot plus $3. God, on a side note, can, do you remember that price point? 2019, I could get Eagles all day long for spot plus 250. What a different world we live in now. Back to what I was saying, if your LCS can get spot plus 10 from Atmex, they will sell to Atmex or another wholesale dealer before they sell to you. Unless you're a phenomenal repeat customer, they are going to sell to the public for that price or a little bit above that price. This goes back to the point I try to make when talking about your LCS build a relationship with them. Buy and sell from them on a regular basis and they are more willing to cut you a deal when prices are like they are now. So we have the largest online dealers selling for high prices and buying from dealers for high prices. Refineries were doing the same. They are to blame for the price not falling, not your LCS. Or is that the case? There are a lot of stories out there which lead credence to the whisperings of a silver shortage. Some news about sovereign mints stopping production of silver and gold. The Mexican mint has stopped production of the silver Libertad coin, and according to Gata, the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, they attributed the decision to difficulties caused by the coronavirus epidemic. This is a very broad and vague excuse, which undoubtedly leads to wild speculation. Given that we are well into a year of COVID, I find it hard to believe that it's affecting them this adversely now. The U.S. Mint announced it was going to stop production of the 2021 Gold Buffalo to focus on the new 2021 American Gold Eagle design. Could it be that they are short on gold and using those pieces for the 2021 AGEs? Very doubtful considering the American Gold Buffalo is 24 karat gold coin. The American Gold Eagle is a 22 karat gold coin. Two different coin blanks are used for these coins. So I really do believe they are putting their attention to creating a lot of American Gold Eagles, which they expect will be a very in-demand coin. 
If we were to look at this chart of gold minted, we can see 2021 already has more demand than 2018 and 2019 demand combined. I have heard from a couple of local coin shops saying that they are being quoted a three month delay for American Silver Eagles. SLV perspectives changed in February, which was a huge deal, saying that they have the right to deny physical delivery of silver to anyone. JP Morgan is the custodial of SLV. Some people take this information and say it's a shortage. Again, I feel that could be cherry picking facts. The US Mint has stopped production on the old design ASE to focus production on the newly designed 2021 American Silver Eagles. And those won't be released until June. It's not like they're out of silver, but rather transitioning to a new design. So of course, quotes for the new ASE orders are three months out. The new Eagles won't be released until June. Most people see these reports, they read the title of the articles and automatically assume it's because there's a shortage. Like this one from the Perth Mint. Wall Street Bet says they broke the Perth Mint because they are out of stock. This could be a semantics issue. When you look into the story more, the Perth Mint isn't out of silver. There is just a production issue melting down their thousand ounce bars into smaller bullion. They don't have silver shot. It's not that they're out of silver, it's just it takes time to melt down 1,000 ounce bars into silver shot and produce the coins. A similar event is happening with the Scottsdale Mint. They ran out of silver shot and are forced to buy 1,000 ounce bars to melt into shot to produce their coins and their bars. If these metals aren't in a squeeze, why are they stopping physical delivery for those who hold ETCs? The Royal Canadian Mint just cancels its physical delivery agreement with Wisdom Tree's gold ETC. An ETC is essentially a stock which allows one to purchase gold or silver much like one purchasing parts of a company. The difference being with an ETC, it gives one the option to take physical delivery of the metal when they sell their position. Now, when they sell their position, they will just receive fiat currency. Why is the US Mint halting production on the American Gold Buffalo in 2021? Why is the Mexican Mint halting production? Why is SLV Prospectus changing and everything else? It looks incredibly odd if there isn't a gold and silver shortage, but at the same time, we aren't seeing the shortages like we had in 2008. Those were very, very long delays with zero gold and silver in stores. Orders would be placed and there would be quotes for three months. Then that quote would change to four months, then five months, then six months, then seven, eight, nine months. It kept on extending. Today's orders are being filled, but production is lagging behind the tremendous demand. I feel that if we were currently in a physical gold or silver shortage, we simply would not be seeing it in stores. Some people are saying that that's happening because their LCS or their area doesn't have silver or gold, and I will get to that in a second. There's something else that has come out. The Silver Institute released a report stating that in 2020, we saw an increase in supply and a drop in demand. This means for 2020, we actually had a surplus in silver. This demand drop is contributed to the drop in consumer products. Not as many people were buying when COVID was going on. I bet many of you are wondering where the surplus is, and that is a good question. The answer is form. There is a shortage of silver in the right form, according to the Silver Institute. Silver bars and coins are in short supply, but 1,000 ounce bars are in abundance. The reason for the shortage is mints are working in overdrive to convert those 1,000 ounce bars to the stackable variety so many of us covet. But they have a physical capacity at these mints, and there is only so much time in the day. I'm sure many of you believe this data is misleading. And you might be right. The problem with this report is it was just released a week ago today and already the chart has changed. This is a screenshot of the video put out by Kitco interviewing Phil Newman, managing director of Metals Focus. Here's a shot showing what the report shows now. Interesting how the abundant supply of silver shrank from 300% oh, to 109%. 
Most of the numbers in all the columns changed as well, and the 2021 column disappeared altogether. Maybe it's in another area where I can't find, maybe Kitco has access to more future charts that, than I do. I was just getting this off of the Silver Institute. But it really makes one wonder how accurate the report is when it changes so much in just one week after being released. Now, given all this information, Wall Street Silver has called for another silver squeeze on May 1st in just a couple of days and is asking those who want to participate by purchasing at least 100 ounces of silver. The total production of silver in 2020 was 976 million ounces, nearly 1 billion ounces of silver. Wall Street Silver thinks if everyone buys 100 ounces, it will short squeeze silver. The demand for silver in 2020 was 896 million ounces leaving just under 80 million ounces of surplus. Wall Street Silver thinks if everyone buys 100 ounces, it will short squeeze silver. How many people do they think are participating? If they had a half million people buying 100 ounces of silver, yeah, maybe you could get pretty close to that 80 million ounces surplus. But I'm not sure. Here's where things kind of get a little odd and I need to do more research into this. But the Hunt brothers in the 1980s cornered the market owning over 80 million ounces of silver. That is roughly what the world's surplus sur the supply is right now. According to reports, this was one third of the world's supply. Definitely a lot less than we have today. Now, here comes the million dollar question that I guarantee you no one is asking any of you. If you knew that there is an abundance of silver in the market and you're only buying silver at an inflated price, would you still do it? I'm betting the majority of you would say no. And you can bet your ass online dealers and LCS know about Silver Squeeze 2.0 and are raising their prices for it. So are we being scammed? You be the judge. As you can see, there's a lot of info and a lot of unsubstantiated claims parroted by people pushing a narrative. If they want it to look like a shortage, they will focus on things that give them that narrative and vice versa. It's called confirmation bias. You look for what you want to be there and ignore what's really there. What I can say for certain is this physical gold and silver squeeze appears to be about 50 50 in my mind. I don't think that there is a black and white answer. Many people pushing the silver squeeze narrative are profiting from this message as are the suppliers like the miners, refineries and mints. They certainly won't speak out against it, especially when it's making them a lot of money. I think we might be seeing a mixture of both. There are areas of the country really well stocked with gold and silver, but with really high premiums and others where Gold and silver disappears faster than a bump in front of Hunter Biden. I think a contributing factor is accessibility and believe it or not, I wouldn't be surprised if the number of stackers in an area contribute to the shortage for that area. Let's say like maybe Idaho, you're going to have a lot more people who are anti-government. You're going to have a lot more people who are weary of banks in that, in that state. And so there's going to be a lot more purchasing of gold and silver versus California, at least in my eyes. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility. The only thing consistent is the high premiums, which leads me to feel a shortage is happening and slowly compounding. I'm a silver bug and I see a bright future for silver. I also wish the silver squeeze movement the best of luck on Saturday. A word of caution for all you glorious stackers out there. For years, I have heard the narrative of a precious metal squeeze. And for some years, the sentiment was true, but we are playing in a banker's game. And no matter how scarce a metal is, they will try to suppress the price for one reason or another. My suggestion, if I were in your shoes, ignore the background noise. Don't sell your precious metals and keep on stacking when it is financially reasonable for you to do so. For those of you who made it this far, you are all my super stackers and I really appreciate you. Do you think there's a silver shortage going on or are we being tricked into buying overinflated silver? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Campbell's Coins and that is my two cents. 